The Calgary Police Service has charged two men in connection with an overnight shooting at a downtown bar. This morning, Sunday, January the 10th, 2016, at approximately 1.30 a.m., three men in a vehicle pulled up in front of the 10X nightclub at 1140 10th Avenue Southwest. As two men waited in the car, the other walked up to the front door of the club and fired off several shots. The shooter was immediately tackled by bar staff and shortly after joined by St CPS gang suppression team members who were nearby and heard the shots. A passenger in the vehicle attempted to assist the shooter but was, in, was able to leave the scene bef before police arrived. His identity and whereabouts at this time are unknown. The third person in the car was arrested and has been charged. One person inside the bar was struck by gunfire. The 38-year-old man was transported to hospital in stable condition. The shooting is not believed to be connected to several other acts of violence in the city over the past several months. Mohamed Elmi, 31 years, and Mohamed Salad, 29, both of Calgary, each face the following charges. Attempted murder, discharged firearm with intent to endanger life, unauthorized possession of a firearm, unauthorized possession of a firearm in a vehicle, possession of a firearm with altered or defaced serial number, aggravated assault, and pointing a firearm. I'll uh, try and answer any questions that you may have at this time. At this point, uh, we don't know that, if it was targeted or random. Uh, we're still trying to investigate that and find out the uh, motive of this shooting. What kind of protocols then can bouncers um, enact in a situation like this? Do they do the right thing? Or? Well, I can't, I'm not going to uh, say what a bouncer or a doorman should or shouldn't do. Uh, as far as putting their life in danger, as these two uh, doormen have. What I can say is uh, the actions of the two doormen and the, um, the speedy response of the gang suppression team um, suppressed what could have been a, even more violence at that time. Can you talk about what these guys were doing? Like, what were they doing leading up to this? Like, what was their, can you describe what their night was? Like we don't have any of that information. We're, we're still investigating whether it was targeted or random. Do you want to talk with the gang suppression unit being nearby? That was just a coincidence? That's correct. They were just doing their regular patrols, and my understanding, they're right across the street from this incident. And so witnesses are saying that the two doormen you know, saved multiple lives. I guess you just want to speak more about the actions of the two men, because I understand they wrestled and tackled the gunman to the ground. That's correct. I mean, um, I don't have the information for uh, how many shots uh, that uh, firearm was capable at that time, but um, we certainly can say that their actions uh, stopped what could have been several other injuries. Are you looking at terrorism as a possible motive? I guess we're, we're looking into everything. We don't have a motive yet. Can you confirm that uh, you had to take one of the bouncer's coats as evidence? I can't confirm that. Is there any concern about further violence to people who work there? I can't, I can't really speak to that. I, until we find out more about the investigation and, and what has transpired and an actual motive, uh, I wouldn't want to comment on that. Do you have any sort of description of um, the third person who has been dead? No, the investigators uh, are will be currently downloading some CCTV uh, video, and uh, we will have a very good. And once the time is right, we'll have a good description of that. I would, at this point, though, suggest to that individual to turn himself in at this point um, before we take the further steps. And I would add to that, if uh, anybody at that uh, nightclub or anybody has information to that third person, to uh, contact police. Can we just talk about how concerning this is, having someone shoot into a room full of people, just, you know, whether random or target or whatever it was? 
Well, it's very concerning, yes. I mean, any time somebody's opening, uh, any time shots are fired within the city, whether it be any part of the city, it's concerning to the police and to the city itself. Is there any update on how the victim's doing now, health-wise? I haven't got an updated, but at that, the last I had heard, he was in stable condition. And so the second person who was arrested and charged, was that the driver of the vehicle? That's correct. Yes, he was.